Hola chicas y chicoritas and in bay leaves. Hey! Welcome back to Go Attack Flicker Heroes <laughs> Rara. Let's get right back into it, shall we? Boom. There have been a couple of tiny little patch notes. Sorry, let me turn on the music and the sound. That's probably weird. I, I put the I put the music and the sound down so that uh, when it's playing in the background, I don't have to listen to all that shit all the time. Okay, 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 okay. So here's the patch notes. Uh, oh, right. It's 26 and 26A. Okay. So first off, relics were reworked to give ancient levels instead of stats. Because the stats that it gave are very similar to all of the fucking ancients in the game. So they showed that, and as most relics are slightly stronger, about the same, which is cool. Some relics are worse for players with more than 20 levels of Solomon than they previously were, if you have Solomon. Relics, the game will compensate you for this change by granting you free Solomon levels to make up the difference! <gasps> That's cool. Toggle the modifiers no longer. I don't care about none of that shit. Um, relics now give more detailed descriptions. Toggling modifiers, nah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so yeah. Before it just told you the, uh, the level. Uh, but then they did the extra patch on top of it and tells you the level of the ancient and exactly what it does. So literally, I lost, I lost nothing. <laughs> the the stats that I still have and want, uh, like the that one right there, three levels to Atman, which equals out to three percent chance of primal boss, and the two levels of Revolt, which equals out to two percent chance of double rubies. I still got all that shit on all these dudes. It's the same stats, the same exact stats. Some of them are slightly stronger, um, uh, but uh, some of them are slightly weaker apparently. But uh, they said they compensate you by giving you free levels of Solomon. Can I get a free? No, no free levels of Solomon. I do have two. It, it tells you exactly uh, what's it called relics, how, how many levels the relic is giving you too. So it's really nice because it gives you levels on a relic that can only be maxed out at a certain level, like this one, uh, which is really nice because uh, it gives you the total amount basically you don't have to go to your uh, ancient screen and be like okay 25 percent here then go back to your relic tree and be like okay it's 13 levels there which is blah blah blah, blah whatever and calculate out yourself okay 38 percent chance of fire boss extra um instead they just do that shit for you so there's three extra levels on this guy so that's 56 percent boss life I don't have any treasure chest ones, which is fine. Uh, chance gold ones is fine. I don't like. I don't, I don't like these ones enough to give them levels. Besides, I'm pretty sure they don't have the relics that gives these guys levels. That'd be fucking OP, wouldn't it? Then uh, five extra levels on this one, which equals 20% chance instead of 15% chance, which is nice. It's nice. And then we got some on here, regular dudes. It's just transient stuff that we don't really need, but it's like attached to other shit, like this one right here. <laughs> More ghoulis. Uh, stupidest thing to give them just nine levels. It's real dumb. Uh, Pluto, which I don't care about anymore. Mammon, which is fine, I guess. And that's about it. Uh, regardless, I've kept you guys long enough. Uh, let's go ahead and level up Thalo a couple times. Oh, I thought I could have done it another time. So I did come back at an interesting spot, as you can see. Um, it looks like we've reached level 1999, you guys. Uh, we actually could have gone much, much, much farther than that. I was doing, I was doing some real. I, I felt a little bad, like um, going a little like less hard on my last run and like not being super attentive to it especially to all of my mercenary shit so I went like super hard on all the mercenary shit like when I ended the last episode I fucking just gave all my mercenaries fucking gold stuff to do and then I waited until like the furthest furthest level I could reach then I popped one of the gold things, gave my dude another couple levels, went as far as I could again, went and popped another gold thing the thing is when you pop one of these you start a new a quest and that quest could also be a gold one and that went on for a really really long time and I could have gone much for once again I could have gone much farther than level 2000 but I wanted you guys to see how far we got now and I don't want y'all to miss the benchmark of the level 2000 win so let's fucking do it y'all 
Let's go. Let's beat this motherfucking trollger at level 2000 and get the fucking achievement. You son of a bitch. I'll fucking kill you. Oh, don't look that way. Oh, don't don't look around. This is me right here. Boosh. You're dead. You're dead to me. Oh, yeah. Zone connoisseur. We are a zone connoisseur, y'all. We kind of sue the zones. We we don't we don't sue them hardcore. We just kind of kind of sue them. We kind of sue them. <laughs> All right. Well, ooh, ooh, another thing we could uh, talk about while uh, while uh, we're just waiting on extra levels for Thalo, which will probably never ever ever come. Uh, we did get Alabaster and Alabaster. Um, we unlocked Astrea. I'm pretty sure I talked about it or read that thing I, there, right there about Astrea. Anyways, but um, but we uh, we bought Alabaster and we leveled them up as much as we could. Same way with like everyone. I got fucking these dudes up to five thousand. I don't know if you saw, but now we can read all of his lore pieces, Mr. Alabaster. Okay, starting from the top. Start from the bottom. Now we're here. No, start from the top. Alabaster. Born in the first world. The first world, the child of... Ooh, hold on. Sorry. Let me grab this. The child of two war heroes. He was destined to become the savior of realms. Endowed with the white ring for being pure of heart. He was the first ranger tasked to protect the multiverse from evil. Okay. So I'm just going to call it right now. First world. That's probably like the first ever area that we went to without, uh, sorry, that's the first time we ever played this game without ascending uh, after buying enough levels of a meno tap. So we never, we never, we didn't ascend with a meno tap. So we were in the first level and that was when Alabaster was born. Of course, we didn't buy him. <laughs> he had to, he had to grow up. He had to grow up and find us after we've ascended many, many levels. To uh, because he, he walks, um, yeah, protect the multiverse. So he, he travels through the multiverse. I'm guessing using orange. Glad I didn't say banana and her uh, multiverse traveling skills. And I'm pretty sure Thalo as well. Um, Thalo can travel through stuff like that as well, probably most likely. Hey, Huzel, that's Alabaster. There's only one. There can only be one Alabaster. Okay, and. I'm also calling it, okay, I'm also calling it, boom, boom, let's scroll up a bit, this is before a Menotep, isn't it, it is definitely before a Menotep, I'm calling it, you guys, I'm calling it, this is the child of Natalia and Bobby Bounty Hunter. After we set into the first world, Obviously, these guys didn't come with us. That's why we had to buy all new stuff when we ascended, all new uh, heroes when we ascended the world, because that was a brand new world. So these guys just went on living. And since, you know, I saved them from the monsters, quote-unquote, it was just not profitable, is what I'm saying. These guys are all bounty hunters. I pay them to kill innocent little creatures, dude. We're, we're bad guys, okay? You all know this already. Uh, but, but, after I ascended... But there's no one left to give money to them to fight these creatures. I mean, the creatures themselves give money, but it's very negligible. I have I have interesting, and cool ways to get money. King Midas, fucking like other shits, the ancients and whatnot. No one else has that shit. I am the star here. Okay. So after that happened, and it was like much, much, much less profitable for these dudes to continue killing monsters. They're just like. Let's just go live our own lives. Everyone did their own thing. And, uh, fucking, uh, Natalia and Bobby, uh, got married. Natalia finally saw the, uh, the pure heart of Bobby the Bounty Hunter, which is, like, so dumb because that's supposed to be, like, Boba Fett. Um, but whatever. We'll, we'll allow it this time. Uh, so, uh, so Natalia. I finally saw through his tough exterior and saw, oh, he's actually a very nice, sensitive dude. I could probably, like, get down with this dude. And, uh, we can sit down and read some books. He's got a book right here, Impressive Moves. I got some books, too. I love these books. We can share books, read in the nighttime, and fucking, you know, other stuff. So they get married, have a kid. The kid's name is Alabaster. Okay? And growing up, 
their parents, Bobby and Natalia, tell stories of my travels and how I hired them to like fight for me. And now I had all these other grand heroes too. A lot of them like gods, and a lot of them like fucking uh, world traveling behemoths and just titans and whatnot. And Alabaster just fell in love. Oh, sorry. Let's grab another guild, shall we? Sir George of the King's Guard guilded. Boom. Mm -hmm. So Alabaster just fell in love. Fell in love at first sight. He wanted to go on adventures too, but obviously in every world that I go to, he's much, much too young for him to, uh, for him, or just non-existent, for him to, uh, to come join me on my fights, because this would have to be after I ascend, and then Natalia and Bobby get together, get married and have a baby. That's much, much later in the world like timeline that I'm in right now. Right now I'm just like killing shit and these guys are hired. So after I ascend this time, which will be in like 20 minutes, <laughs> after I ascend, that's when Natalia and Bobby like start hanging out, they get, go to a bar, grab drinks together, they fucking, uh, they fucking go to a nice restaurant one time and Bobby tells her how he feels and blah blah blah, it's true love, blah blah blah, blah whatever, get married, have a kid. But that's way, way, way later, so in each timeline, there's never a chance for Alabaster to come join me. Unless, uh, what's it called? Unless he gets in touch with one of these rangers, and the rangers are interesting since they travel between, like, dimensions and stuff. Always, like, trying to save the multiverse and whatnot. Alabaster, it, it took him a while. It took him a minute to be able to come in contact with one of these dudes just by random chance. Like, he wanted to become, like, one of them. And they took him to their leader or whatever, and because he was pure of heart, child of two war heroes, destined to become the sa destined to become the savior of the world, born in the first world. There you go, boom. Uh, endowed with the white ring for being pure of heart, he was first ranger tasked to protect the multiverse from evil. So boom, he actually became like pretty, pretty, pretty intense, like a dude. But he used that <laughs> leverage. You know, Asher, first day uh, ranger tasked to protect the multiverse from evil. Whatever. I'm gonna go hang out with this dude that my parents fought with back in the fucking day. He's gonna have to still, like, pay for my trip. Because I don't work for free, but, you know, still. That's cool as shit. Good for you, Alabaster. You're here with us, finally. And, uh... And, uh, we're, we're glad to have you. Your parents are very, uh, nice people. They, they help me out a lot when... <laughs> when I'm trying to beat a certain level of dude back when I was first starting the game. <laughs> That's as much as I can give you, buddy. Um, any uh, Let's take a look at some of his uh, abilities. Obviously, his ability like effects are the same as uh, all the other rangers. Uh, increases DPS by 100, 100, 100, 150, uh, like in that order, blah, 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 blah. But we're just looking at the lore here, so let's take it out. The first one's Meditation. The burden of protecting everyone in all the worlds can be stressful. Sometimes I just need some time to myself. Which is very nice. Dude knows how to meditate. That's great. Which is perfect when you're actually neglecting to protect everyone in the multiverse so you can come hang out with us. Very, very, very resourceful of you, Alabaster, to use meditation to those personal gains. Good, good stuff. Boom! Travel boots. You should probably get these for me. My boots are falling apart and I won't be able to travel across worlds without them. Alabaster just wants us to take him shopping. You, sne you sneaky little dude. You're like, oh no, I need I need these travel boots. These look like regular ass boots, dog. You just want, to take, you just want us to take you shopping, huh? It's fine. We'll do it for you this one time. They're pretty expensive, but whatever. We got the money. You get some nice extra clean looking boots for your all white suit over here. And uh, have something to show the mom and pops when you get back to the first world. Be like, yo, you bought me some shoes. What are those? All right. Sorry, let me take a sippy sip real quick. Oh, yeah. Okay, next up. You got the Peacekeeper. This is obviously a sword. The, the, the picture depicts a sword. So with, like, wings on it. So it's like a holy sword. But, um, but it's called the Peacekeeper. 
It is said that the Peacekeeper never needs sharpening. Well, that's, yeah, I mean, I mean, I assumed all of these weapons never need sharpening. I mean, uh, never mind. These weapons probably need sharpening, just we won't do the sharpening. We won't pay for the sharpening. Uh, we bought you the sword already. It's super expensive. You do the sharpening, guys. The Alabaster, he ain't got time for that. He's like, no, I would need to buy this so that I have absolute maximum time with my, my main man G-Money over here. He's gonna... He's gonna be like uh, my friend forever. We're gonna be friends forever, and everything's gonna be hunky dory. Awesome. Good for you, peacekeeper. You got yourself a cool looking sword. Boom. Blinding light. The light at the end of the tunnel. The tunnel of life. Okay. This one's interesting. <laughs> okay. So I believe. I believe we we uh what's it called we described two in in our previous lore chats we described two forces in the world that uh, are said to have uh, originated from magic um one of them being love which uh the uh the controllers of the magic of love would be like Lilith and aphrodite and all the people who do use magic, uh, there's a good, like, half of them use it, like, the love side, where it's, like, uh, fire, passion, and, like, uh, Maju does, like, the wind and stuff like that. Uh, and then, uh, half of them use it, I don't think it's, uh, like, dark, shadowy side or whatever, nah, I'm pretty sure it's, like, uh, um, what was it, death? Yeah, yeah, so it's love and death, I believe it. Did I say love and death or love and hate? It was one or the other. It's a uh, love and rage, I believe. Yeah, it could be rage, because Cadmia does It's warrior bread. So I'm pretty sure it's like some like rage or something. So uh, the opposite of Aphrodite would be, obviously, um, Athena, goddess of war. Uh, we got Cadmia being the herald of the the anger and rage team, Dread Knight, the, the dark brooding one who's like got too much of both so he's like always super angsty all the time so it's a two two forces in the world that produce all the magic that people use to uh to do like elemental shit and whatnot blah 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 but it's two base things i think it's like love and it's anger love and anger hatred I believe uh, one psychologist said that all all feelings are either love or fear or some shit like that. But we're not gonna go that deep into it. So this says the light at the end of the tunnel, the tunnel of life. Okay. So, huh? What could that mean, you guys? This is interesting. I've never had like a problem creating just out of my own fucking brain a a lore piece i could probably create some like lesser than than fitting ones like the uh, tunnel of light of the end of the tunnel tunnel of life this is you know he was born he came out of natalia's vagina boom tunnel of light easy but once again doesn't fit very well with his character and or his backstory or whatever uh the best i could do or say or think of would be that Oh, that's actually a good one. I didn't even think very clearly about it, but uh, I believe that's a pretty interesting uh, theory about this. Okay, so, so stick with me here for a second, okay? Tunnel of life. Boom. I was going to say, like, uh, you know, we could sort of make it, like, stretch it out and be like, oh, end of the light at the end of the tunnel, tunnel of life. We, we could just call that, like, the portals that they do to go through all the multiverses, right? You know? But, thinking about this, okay, Alabaster, there's only one Alabaster, as far as we know. He, he was born in the first world, okay? And he was he's the only one who's, who travels with the uh, Rangers. Because, although Alabaster is born in all of the worlds after the first world, after we ascended the first time, he never met any of the Rangers and joined them. It was only Alabaster of the First World who joined the Rangers and started traveling, like, through the worlds to see if he can find me. You know? So I believe the, the, uh, 
just looking just looking back at like all of our lore pieces here i believe uh the force the energy that uh what's it called the energy that uh, creates portals and like like um, what's the word that creates portals and allows for travel in between them is the like fucking super like core base energy of just life itself you know after all uh yes going through the tunnel of life could also mean like oh you're dying you're going to heaven but is it just dying and going to a new place another form of travel like aren't you just traveling through a portal somehow and going to a different area of existence you're not going to stop well if, if you believe the stories uh you're not going to stop existing after you're dead you continue on existing but in another like dimension per se you know there's a lot of a lot of religious aspects going on here too but in this aspect instead of going to heaven or like something this portal that you know is, is driven by the energy of life uh, i'm guessing that these all all these rangers get from their rings their extremely powerful rings uh is the energy that is used to create a portal and travel through it to go across worlds across universes across multiple uh dimensions it, it's not exactly right it'll be like multiple universes uh dimensions are something different <laughs> They they sound the same, and if you're like not paying attention, you could use it the same way. But they're different. If you if you, if you if you know anything about science, dimensions are different than universes. Universe, multiple universe, parallel universes is literally just like uh, going like traveling through a wormhole to a different universe, like a different like let's say uh, you know your universe is the left circle in a Venn diagram, right? And traveling through like the center area, that would be the wormhole, you go into the right universe. Dimensions are, oh, that Venn diagram is two dimensions until you like, you know, unless that Venn diagram is in like a 3D model, that's three dimensions, blah, 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 fourth dimension, fifth dimension, sixth dimension, and it all goes on Tesseract, blah, 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 blah. Um, so when people, most of the time, they say traveling through dimensions. Most of the time, they mean universes. Sometimes they mean dimensions. I, I heard somewhere that, uh, like, uh, the dream world, the place you go to when you dream and have, like, dream stuff happen, is another dimension. I think mean, it's like a sixth or some dimension or whatever, which is interesting. It's not a universe. It's a dimension. Interesting, right? Uh, which means there's a whole nother like universe within a universe in our universe that like we're all we're all unawares of. It's interesting, isn't it? It's like uh, if you think about it, like things on a piece of paper screen. Uh, let's say the, all those things are living; they're alive. Okay, they and they can only see like basically to the left of the page or to the right of the page or to the up of the page or the down of the page they don't understand like depth so they wouldn't be able to like see out to you looking at the piece of paper like front onto it this is like how dimensions work like people in a dimension don't usually like aren't usually aware of the people looking at looking right at them right in front of them in the next dimension over we're in the third dimension right now. There could be like a million things around me right now. Like literally in front of my goddamn face in a way that I just can't perceive. And, but in the fourth dimension, they could be just watching me right fucking now. That, I mean, it's a little... It's turning me on a little bit. I'm about to take my pants off. People are watching. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just fucking with you guys. Uh... <laughs> It's pretty. It's pretty nice talk though about science and fucking religion and lore. Most of all, is pretty fun coming up with the lore to Alabaster. I like the. I like the idea that Natalia and uh, Bobby uh, end up getting together later on and having a kid, and that kid just being like, "Yo, I want to hang out with you so bad, dog." He travels dimensions just to do it. Uh huh. Good stuff. I would love, love, love. Because Astrea is actually, if you, if you see, if you check it out, boom. Astrea, then the next one we got is like a weird beast, dude. Astrea is actually our last, um, 
our last, well, what's the word? Ranger. She's the last ranger. She's the last one with the power ring. So I would love to get some, like, uh, some lore, some background on where these power rings came from. The white ring. See, it says endowed with. By whom? Who gave you this white ring, huh? I mean, you definitely joined the rangers at some point, but there's some who's, like, a, just found the ring somewhere or something, right? He's condemned to the sea. Your man ocean floor for more than a century. He was resurrected and granted power. He no, see? Oh, okay. So he said he was resurrected. Who did that to you, Alice? Who resurrected you? Black. He wields the power of black ring. Okay. So all it says is that he wields the power of it. He might have find, found it, but like the lore suggests that someone might have probably given it to him. Um this one doesn't say anything about a ring. Forest Ranger. Uh, <laughs> well, that's because all of these are like the blue ring, the black ring. What are you going to say? The forest ring? That's weird. This is green, so she's probably got the green ring. Uh, doesn't say anything about the green ring. Ah, trusted with the orange ring. Who trusted you with this orange ring, OG? Where are they at? Can I meet them? And then we got Lilin. Uh, pink ring. I could have sworn I saw a lore piece saying that she's got the pink ring. No. Well, you know, we could assume. And then, uh, the red dimensional ranger. What? No warrior born ready to fight. This time, the time again for you not to the sword ring. She obtained the red ring. Ah, oh, that's right. She obtained the red ring from defeating the previous red dimensional ranger. Um, which is interesting. This 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 is the only occasion, Cadmia, where the ring wasn't given to her, or like or acquired in another way. Like the, we're, there's a few where it just doesn't say, and there's one where it's like you could maybe assume that she got he uh, Dread Knight got it a different way, like you yeah, could like just found it, but like. That assumption would probably be wrong. Most likely, he was entrusted or endowed with it or some shit like that. Cadmia defeated the previous Red Dimensional Ranger and become became the new Red Dimensional Ranger through a, through a battle. Which is interesting. I don't know if you guys ever watched the anime Bleach. But, uh, you know, they, they go to, like, the Soul Society or whatever. And, like, they're, like, captains and then lieutenants and blah, blah, blah. Underneath them... And usually the captains become captains because they're, they're, they study for a long time. They're super powerful. They know they all know Bankai's or whatever. There's one captain who doesn't have a Bankai, doesn't talk to his sword at all. Uh, he doesn't. He wasn't even there for a really long time. He's got there. And he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna kill this dude right here. Who's like your leader?" And they're like, "All right, try." And fucking did it. And now he's the new leader. <laughs> It's so Academy is basically that dude in Bleach. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Am I able to? Yes, I'm able to. Fuck yeah! Kill this dude. Collect, collect. Uh, oh, nothing. Okay. Uh, ooh, another 30 minutes. This will probably this will probably be done by the time. We get to the end of the Ascension run next episode, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Two hours. Definitely not. Uh, 30 minutes for 13,000 here, so it's real nice, though. Ah, five minutes. I love doing the five-minute quests, so I'm going to do a five-minute quest. Let's get this guild. And now that we've gotten the level 20, 20 guild, I feel like we're good to go. We're good to start ascending. Give me just a... Oh, sorry. No. Guild. Guild, you idiot. Oh, that's what's cool. When you, when you leave and you go back, it's still all the way down here. Oh, that's super nice. Usually you have to, like, go all the way, all the way down. No, not this type of dog. All right, let's give him 193, and then we're good. We're good. Okay, 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 okay. What do we do now? Oh, we, we, we give up our hero souls. That's right. Oh, before we do, though, I have 100. I have over 100 rubies. I'm getting these goddamn hero souls. Yes. Okay. Boom. Yes. Okay. Good. That's a lot of hero souls. I'm happy. Let's pull out the calculator. Let's do some maths. Uh, how much do we have? 823, 243. 
two, three, two, four, three, divided by four equals that much, times three equals that much, we need to get down to 617,000. That's just over 200,000. It makes sense. It makes a lot of sense, actually. So, let's go here. We're not going to summon an agent, right? Yeah. The next agents we're going to get is Vogger once we switch to active mode. So, uh-huh. If we ever switch to active mode, I did get a I did get a comment saying like, yo, if you only play like an hour every couple days, then it's not worth it to do active mode. So I was like, eh, maybe I should just keep doing uh, idle mode then. It sounds awesome. <laughs> Anyways, so let's uh, start giving away stuff. Um, what? Oh, 26,000k. I don't have that much. How about that? Oh, I, I, I don't even have that much. Okay. So we're just going to do it 10 out of time, man. Solomon. So, what were we getting down to again? 617. 617. Oh, okay. Not another 10. Not another 10. Uh, one more? 8,000? Sure. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay. So, divided by 3 equals that much times 2 equals that much. 411,000. Okay. Oh, we gave him a lot of levels. He's over four level 400 now. That's awesome. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So it's uh, 411,000. 411,000. Yeah, let's do the gold, guys. These three right here is my favorites. Um, 411,000. So, like, just over 200. Yeah, I can do 100 on each. <gasps> I can't do 100 on each. I'm an idiot. So Mimsy's gonna be a little behind. Hey, Mimsy. It's fine. <laughs> Shit. Should have been more careful. Um, I'm bring her. Oh, 50 levels behind. That's shitty. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Let's, let's give her one more. 815. There you go. You're, um. <laughs> you're 45 levels behind now. It's, whatever. Well, we'll fix that, Mimsy. Sorry about that. <laughs> And then we do all of the uh, the damages, the damages. Uh, so divided by two equals this. Two hundred five thousand is what we get down to. Two hundred five grand. Okay. So yep, hundred there, and a hundred on. See you later. And then we could do a couple here. Uh -huh. a couple there. Can we do another five levels? Two hundred how much? Two hundred five, huh? Two, three, two, three, four, five, nine hundred thirty. Nine hundred thirty. Cool. How much? Nine nine. Hmm. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, there it is. 204,000 is whatever. Um, shit. Usually I give all the rest to Morgulis, but that's a lot to just give to Morgulis. I'm going to equalize Mimsy. We're going to give Mimsy a little bit extra here, I guess. Sorry. Fuck things up a teeny bit. There you go. You get 166k. That's, that's what you get this time around. More. More, we got you at over a mil. That's, 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 that's the most important thing. We got you at over a mil. That's, that's what's fun. Uh, oh shit, are we about to get just an, another random extra 2,002 hero souls for no reason? That's pretty legit. <laughs> I mean, we took this long. Uh, okay, so, oh uh, shit. All of these are shitty. Eight hours. Uh, I don't want to lose you. Hold on, what level are you though? Level four? It's probably going to take like less than... The requisite amount of rubies to revive you, so it's no, it's no big deal. I mean, I'm gonna eat those words, I'm sure, but it's fine. Astray, I can't wait. Hmm. Can't wait to learn about you. I mean, we're close. We're at 152. I hit 153, so 159 is not so bad. So. Okay. Wait, what? That's supposed to give me 2,000. 
It only gave me 918. Oh, no, no, no. 2,000 on Ascend. Oh, that's stupid. I got 918 from the other stuff. I should I should just give that straight up to uh, Morg, though. Right? Because I sort of chipped Morg. There you go, buddy. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're going to end it here. Like, subscribe, comment if you're enjoying the series thus far. I know I haven't. I'll catch you guys in the next episode when we start ascending. It's going to be pretty dope. See you guys then. Peace out.